Hello and welcome to Rockingham in the Arca car. All right, new week, new tracks. Should be a fun time. Uh, oops, I got the driving line on for some reason. Turn that off. Oh. Um, new week. Lots of exciting new stuff to race. I did a couple uh, little rookie road races. Uh, that I normally do. It's all just the same track, so I'm not uploading those anymore. Um, it's redundant at this point, but they're still fun, so I do them. Uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to go all in with tire saving this race, so I don't really want to start near the front. However, I don't want to start in the very back either. So we're just going to cruise around and uh, just start last of those who qualify. Uh, I think that's probably the best option for me. Um, hopefully it works out. Um, I'm hoping that the guys in the back who choose not to qualify are probably going to be saving tires too, so they're not going to be pressuring me and uh, preventing me from saving tires. So that was uh, that's the thought process here, is uh, I can safely save tires without getting run over if I, uh, if I choose to start this way. One more lap. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. So we got ourselves a blazing 36 second lap at Rockingham. Your last lap time was uh, at 36.0. Jesus, what a lap. Good lap, man. Talking about 23.9 up there. Uh, I'm assuming he's not talking about me. <laughs> Unless he is, I don't know. It's a quick reaction if he's talking about me, but uh, we're just rolling around. We do that. 30 second lap. That should be slower than everyone. So, uh, I th think this should work out. Uh, we got Hermie Sadler in the race. So that's pretty cool. Um, former NASCAR racer. I uh, I'm familiar with him as the Zero Two car in the NASCAR Thunder 2004 game. I always used to pick that car as a kid because I liked uh, car numbers that started with a zero. So, and I think he was like the only one with like zero two or something like that. And uh, I would always pick his car because of that. And uh, now he's the 16 and we're racing here at Rockingham in the Arca car. It's funny, a uh, few races in a row here with current or former NASCAR racers. Although uh, most will probably be more familiar with Kyle Larson, if I had to guess. But uh, I think it's super cool. Anytime you get to race with someone that has real life experience, that's just uh, that's super awesome to me. So, um, Hermie Sadler in the race, he'll be starting a couple spots behind us potentially. Looks like he might not be qualifying. Um, we got a couple people that are either still doing their qualifying laps or haven't clicked that blue button. That new blue button might not even know what it does. So, we might have to wait the full minute that's left here. Uh, we're still kind of falling down. Guy's still putting laps in. We might end up starting in the back anyway. But if that's the case, then uh, that's where exactly I wanted to be regardless. So uh, for stuff here, I chose 14 to 1. Thought about 16 to 1, but I just I want that little extra bit of turn. Um, car's not really pulling to the left as much as uh, it usually does, so I'm okay with the default steering offset. And I got my front brake bias all the way back. Uh, I think I'm kind of happy with where that is. Maybe I'll pull it back more uh, if it's start, starting to feel tight later in the run. But for now, I'm happy with that. Um, tires haven't done anything, I guess, because I rolled around the track at zero miles an hour. But uh, as uh, many know already, Rockingham's very rough on the tires. I mean, you can see it while I'm driving. It'll be bumping all over the place. In fact, I lowered my force feedback. Just a tiny bit to uh, kind of ease up on that because it really does like to jostle you. So we're gonna be si we're gonna be tire saving. Hopefully the guys behind me realize well, that Next time by. and uh, outside, don't kill time. me. Pit road is closed right now. I'm gonna go straight to session last lap and uh, well, hopefully the race will be long enough that uh, it'll make a big enough difference. I feel okay making a, a little bit of a gamble like this, going full tire saving, because I am the 8 car. We got some uh, real fast guys in here. They're going to be able to be up front and uh, still save tires probably, but 
I'm hoping that uh, with a conservative approach, safe conservative approach, I will still be able to get the top 10 or so. That's probably my goal here. Try to get in the top 10. And uh, have a good run. I think that's, uh, that's uh, attainable. Hopefully. Got Roswell a couple of spots behind us. That's a cool name. We got Aliens. That, that's actually kind of funny. Like, if they were really, really good at this, people were calling them an alien and their name's Roswell. Alien being what you refer to as, like, the super fast guys. The aliens. <laughs> a lot of names I don't recognize. I think that's because, uh... I'm actually... I would normally be at work right now on a... on a day like today, but I got to go home early. They accidentally scheduled two people for the same day. And, uh, because I worked the past two days... They said, go on home, buddy. And I said, okay, I'm going to go do some racing then. And here I am. Now we get to race with Herbie Sadler and, and friends. <laughs> there are a couple names I do recognize, though, particularly near the front, because they're people who are always near the front. Treat them right and good luck. And uh, you tend to remember the ones that beat you by 10 seconds in the race. Or more. Laps. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. Might get a little scary. It's a big field and it's a shortish track. Short ish track. This one definitely kind of races like a short track. Although it does have pretty high banking, so. Yeah, Rockingham is a unique track. I like it a lot. I'm not particularly good at it, but uh, I like it as a track. Even though it's quite difficult. One to green. So apparently it's a big enough track that we don't need two pace laps. Say okay with me. We got a Scooby Doo next to us. Neat. It's like a first gear start. Right. Are we spinning the tires? Yes, a little bit of spin on the tires, so I'm gonna have to be careful with that. And uh, keep my eyes out all around me. To go green. Stay focused. Also, remember my plan. I'm going to have to remember my plan, which is be nice to the tires. Green flag, green flag. Maybe I was a little too safe with the uh, car inside. avoiding of the tire spin. It uh, seems like guys kind of flew past me a little bit. We had some contact up there. Uh oh, here's something spinning. He's spinning on my inside. Yikes. I'm gonna be trying to uh, turn the wheel as little as possible. I'm going to do a little bit of like a, a drift up approach here into turn three, where I uh, kind of slide up and let the banking catch me. Hopefully that'll be good on the tires. It seemed to work in the Legends car um, whenever they came here, the 1987s. So uh, hopefully it'll work with this a little bit. My uh, instinct is not to do that. My instinct would be to... Uh, Staying at the bottom. Holy smokes! Oh my god, that was a big one. Oh. Oh. That's why I removed the Arca brakes from this car and installed some regular old short, <laughs> short track brakes, because no Arca brakes here. You gotta slow down for something like that. Holy cow. Okay, well. We lost some good time there to the front pack, but uh, I'm not too concerned if uh, it means we just passed all those people. That guy's got damage, so we want to be in front of him. Wow, that was a track blocker almost. I was so worried I was going to get plowed in the in the back, as uh, will tend to happen. But uh, we made it. Oh man. I bet there's going to be a thumbnail in there somewhere. One that you've already seen, but I have not. I have not even created it yet. 
Unless something real strange happens, then that's gonna have to be the thumbnail. Well. Upton's feeling a little bit better now, even. I was feeling pretty good about it already. Wonder what happened. I know the car can get real loose out of, uh, you know, in mid, uh, it's a, it's a four there. Some spun it, then piled in. I don't know. But, uh, everyone was still pretty close since it was so early in the race still. Yo, Daniel, say hi, man. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, like, driving into three and four and not turning the wheel much at all. I'm letting the banking catch me, and I'm hoping that's going to be good. That's going to do good things for me. We'll see. I no longer claim I know anything about tire saving. <laughs> so, before you go out there and try it yourself, make sure you watch the rest of this and see if it actually works or not. It very well could not. It's not being easy. Letting the brakes and the throttle turn me. Some smoke up there. I think someone must have hit the wall or something. Yeah, it's feeling pretty good though. Uh, it's feeling like it's doing something good because I'm really not turning the wheel to get it to turn. It's kind of just turning on its own. And uh, I feel like that's a good sign. The throttle really seems to get it turning right there. It's like I'm driving in a straight line. It's actually quite nice. And uh, we'll be patient because 45 laps here. We're about a fourth of the way through it. If I end up 11th, that's cool with me. I feel like there's no way I'll, I'll fall off unless I really am that bad at saving tires, but I um, don't think I'll fall back to the 23 and back there or anyone. We'll find out, though. I feel like I'm being extra safe with the tires today. I just, you know, for once I would like to be the one moving forward at the end of a run and not the one uh, with the tires screaming in agony. Like, maybe that should be my goal for this season. Don't be the guy with the, you know, pulling into the pits with a bonfire made out of tires on the car. I guess if you uh, save your tires enough, you'll have a good year. <laughs> and then everybody clicked off the video. Yes, I'll talk to myself for the rest of this race. So there's not going to be much to talk about until we start reaching other guys. I think uh, we lost a lot of the later action by all the action and action happening at once with all those guys running into each other. All this empty space in front of us is where they would have been filling up. <laughs> Well, we'll see if uh, anyone up there has uh, 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 gotten to that spot just by burning the tires off it, and we'll see if we uh, start catching them. Maybe this 20? It's looking a bit erratic. Hey, hi, how long? I feel like I might be underdriving a little bit, you know, uh, crossing that line between tire saving and just straight up underdriving. Hey, buddy. It's uh, I don't just want to drive slow, either. Fine balance that I can never seem to grasp, but... 120 lost a spot there. So it does seem like he's moving back to us. Hopefully we can get around him quick and not have to fight him too long. It looks like the 12 got, on, got by him pretty handily. Not be too much of an issue. Use that throttle to get it turning. That's something I gotta remember too is uh, once you're late in the corner, now not uh, not quite necessarily center of corner, but kind of late, and uh, it's okay to kind of get on that gas a little bit because that's gonna be uh, more on the right rear, and uh, that's not so bad if that gets more. So 
that's getting worn. You just the car's not getting tighter. And uh, so long as it's not getting tighter, I think you can still be fast. Exceptions, of course, where you're at a track where the car is, I'm going to kill you, loose. Don't really want to be burning off the rears there. Especially like some of the road courses and stock cars, um, where you just like try to hit the gas and it's just, you're spinning the tires all the way down the straightaway. That's a time where you definitely want to protect the rears that I've experienced, but um, usually oval racing, it's not such a bad thing to get those rears worn. So, looks like it's the Scooby-Doo, the mystery machine we're catching up to here. The captain, Watson, ahead is now 0.5. Tax saving paying off a little bit at this point. Car feels great, by the way. It's not getting tight at all. So, at least we've succeeded in that so far preventing the car from just completely falling off a cliff like it normally does to me. Scooby-Doo, you can be nice to me. Outside. Still there, hold your line. 24.9. Still pushed up a little bit. Hopefully I didn't do too much. But so uh, we made it past him no problem. Hmm. A little early on the gas there. Oh, okay, darn. Thought that was a lead lap guy. But now it's a guy lap down. You're in the top ten. Oh no. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm dumb. It's the guy just passed the twenty that was falling off. So we've achieved our top ten. Yeah, they're pretty far up there though. I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to be able to catch back to them even if I have good tires. So maybe I'll start pushing a little harder now. See how much time I can make up. I have to imagine the uh, guys up front that were probably halfway across the track at this point. We'll drop that a little bit. It's okay, we'll get the runoff and not lose too much. As if I sling it in here a little bit harder. Nah, uh, not too big a fan of that. Coming up on halfway here. Distance. Fuel looks good. I'm missing my marks all of a sudden. I gotta get refocused. But uh, you see how much the tire saving uh, helped us in relation to the 20. If we just went full out, which I assume uh, the 20 must have done, then uh, that's how hard you fall off. And we're only halfway through the race, so he's gonna have a rough time holding on to as many spots as possible. I think I'm not getting on the brake as hard as I need to be be a little more firm with it. I've got the load cell brakes or whatever. I um, guess I could talk about that. I've got a thrust master wheel. It's the T1... T150? Okay. Oh, I'm driving. Yes, T1... Oh! <laughs> oh, this is why you don't take your eyes off the road. Um, T150 Pro, so it's, uh, it's the one that's got, like, force feedback, and, uh, it's got, uh, the better set of pedals, the load cell brakes instead of just the plastic, the plasticky doos. It's uh, metal and it's got the load cell and it's also got a clutch on the side, which comes in handy time and uh, time and again. Because uh, you know when you're saving fuel or something, you pop the clutch in, helps you roll a little bit. I don't uh, have like a a shifter though that I could use for this. I just have the, the paddle shifters on the sides and all that. Because I'm not a real racer. I'm a phony. <laughs> I'm just doing this for fun, though. I'm not going to pretend that I'm actually a good... I, if I got into one of these in real life, I'm not going to pretend I would be any good at it. I'd probably uh, get in, and then before I get to the first turn, pass out from the 140 degree heat, and then flip over the wall and die. That's probably how that would go. So, I'm not going to pretend that me sitting in my cushy chair in the air conditioning is quite the same. But uh, they do a great job, iRacing does, to get it as close as they possibly can. And that's why it's fun. That's why I'm here, having some fun. Uh, now I'm starting to feel a little bit of tightness. As I was kind of starting to push a little bit more. Not overly so, but uh, trying to make up some of the time that's in front of me. I guess I can keep an eye on what those numbers are looking like. Three seconds ahead, 12. I 
think I need to be lower on the track at turns one. Man, look at that pack, though. That could be another big wreck. There's a lot of people close to each other up there. I'm actually going, uh, going to... This might bite me later, but I'm going to do this and have the uh, brakes back as far as physically possible. Just uh, getting the most out of it. Where did uh, Hermes Sadler end up? Did he was in that wreck? That sucks. Just kind of like Kyle Larson. <laughs> I'm not going to actually get to race next to him too much. It's, uh... Oh well. Still cool to be in the same race. Although if we uh, end up farther away from all the, everyone else, I'm going to start forgetting that there's other people on the track because we're kind of just in our own little niche out here. we got two, two and a half plus seconds on both front and end, uh, behind us. I'm glad, I am glad that I chose to uh, not qualify for real and just do the fake qualify kind of thing. Um, I think this uh, that benefited me. I think if I qualified, I might have ended up wherever that wreck started. And uh, had I not qualified, I would have had to uh, been in the very... Well, I probably would have been around the same spot because I'm um, the number eight. So I'd still be kind of like higher order of the guys who didn't qualify at all. But uh, just less people I have to try to get around at any point. So... Uh, I'm happy with how this turned out in terms of that strategy. And uh, if anything happens to me at this point, it's not going to have anything to do with that. It's going to have to do with, uh, I don't know, someone crashing in front of me or something. Mm -hmm. I'm still feeling okay. Still trying to drive it conservatively with the uh, tires. No, look, there's Hermie Sadler. He's still back there. I don't think he's wrecked. If, he might have some damage, but still, uh, he's still out here. All right. Uh, I have to guess he must have avoided major damage from. So, all right. Here we go. We're kind of catching uh, Stevie here, Minson. He uh, races a whole lot. You see his name a lot. He's got like thousands of races. I think I've checked out his profile before. He's got he's raced a whole ton over a long period of time. So uh, hard to get much more experienced. But it looks like our hyper tire saving might be bringing us to him. We're gonna have to cut that lead real quick though. If we want to catch him because we're running out of laps. Two point four right now. I don't know if we're catching them fast enough, but we'll see. And he's kind of maintaining it at the moment. What if they're wreck the uh, wreck again? Anyone up there? They uh, kind of seem like they've figured it out a little bit compared to that big gigantic uh, pile of cars that we saw in a group before. Seems like they've kind of sorted it out just a bit. More single file. That was looking sketchy for a minute. Well, maybe we're not catching uh, number 12 too much. Still at 2.3. So we're going to get there. It's like if I let it roll and turns one and two a little bit more, it's uh, good for me. <laughs> In my lap time, excuse me. So if I end up 10th, that is totally good with me. That was my goal, top 10. And uh, we basically did it just by avoiding a gigantic, enormous wreck. And uh, I think being extra safe through that wreck lost us a whole lot of time. But uh, better than ending up in it. I will say that. We lived to save tires another lap.
Where's tight now? Starting to uh, yell at me a bit after I started pushing more. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, ever pushed at all. Maybe I should have just kept going consistently and uh, it would have naturally started bringing me forward. I mean, I kind of sort of did that. I wasn't really pushing super hard or anything at any point. I'll be clear there. But uh, I did just uh, kind of start stepping on it a little sooner. Start driving in a little bit harder. And uh, I just don't think we're going to be able to catch ninth place. goes up the track there, though we do too, because I'm watching him instead of what I'm doing. <laughs> Actually, we've got Roswell invading our space a little bit back there. He's catching up. Better be careful of that, then I won't lose it to him. But, uh, we'd have to bleed off a second on the last lap. I think we're fine. Steve's starting to take the high line. I wonder if there's anything up there. Too late for me to find out, because this race is going to be over. Later. Oh! He's in the wall! <laughs> uh, if he got stuck up there, maybe I could have. A... I guess that was good, right? Good race, good win. That's all I asked for, it's top ten. Because right uh, there's some fast guys in here, and uh, not my best track, so. Good racing, guys. Yeah. Thought Roswell was gonna catch me. He will. He would have probably. 15, but now that I'm more comfortable with it, I'll probably go 16. Yeah, I might do 16 next time too, if there is a next time. I was thinking about that. It's uh wow, look at that. The 18 had a fantastic about, race. Uh, Sean, or John, or Larry. Oh, yeah. all right. 18 and second. That's a great run. Or our tire is 69. Oh, 69.90. That's probably not good. Wow, that's crazy. I had a uh, 62% tread on the right front. I just totally could drive the right front. 69.90. I'll post it in there. Yeah, I was just hurting the right front a little bit too much, it looks like. Everyone else was better. Maybe that uh, higher line in turns 3 and 4 isn't the way to do it in this car. I'll let everyone know how much better they are than me. <laughs> um, but for now, before uh, we head out here, we'll see what happened on the track. And maybe see what caused that big wreck. Here's me getting a not-so-great start. Wow, that was aggressive. Who be that? Number six. Rocketing by. Best way to get those spots is to qualify, actually. Little known fact. Did he qualify? No. Life hack. Qualify if you want to pass people before the race even starts. Here it is. Oh my god. Goodness gracious. <laughs> so many people affected by that one. I'm not so sure I would have even had a good race. If we didn't get all these free spots, I might have been terrible. It's hard to tell, but... Yes, look at that. So, 15... Takes it a little softer, I guess, than they were expecting. Or, one's driving in hard, following the 5 at a fast speed. And so the 5 can't really slow down, maybe. Because he's got someone right on his tail, and the 15 just doesn't have the same speed through the corner. So that's kind of a tough situation. One probably doesn't even realize that they're catching the 15 that quickly, so the 5 kind of gets sandwiched. And then here you are. It's kind of like when you push the pusher on a super speedway. But here we're doing it in the corner, and yikes! Speaking of super speedways, we get the big one out of this one. Although, uh, here we got a different point of entry to the wreck. I'm guessing people checking up and uh, other people not checking up. So we've got the 6. Just runs in the back of the 7, not lifting enough. I 
Takes him out and he gets to keep going. So yeah, he gets his qualifying spots. Oh man, that's so rough. So many people caught in this one. It's trying to make it through, but oh. Oh, the humanity. Oh, the calamity. Oh my goodness gracious. Scooby-Doo makes it through. Where are you? Wow, that was a pretty uh, amazing dodge. Well, it's a Chevy, but... Whoa! Zoinks! <laughs> that was awesome. Oh no, he ended up finishing last? What happened? Oh man. Something else must have happened later. We'll find out, I guess. But uh, I was about to say, like, hey, he ended up uh, getting a lot of spots, but I guess he didn't really in the end. Oh man, 23 just picked the wrong place to try to dodge it. He's like thinking he's gonna go low and just uh, sneak past it, but everyone kind of heads that direction. Seven, and there's, that's just that's where everybody is. He aimed straight for it, and it's uh, it's real easy to do. You gotta make a split to, uh, second decision. So let's uh, see how I saw it. I had plenty of time for it to develop, thankfully. So I slow down real good, waiting uh, to see my opening right here. It's not looking promising though. Right here, it's looking like it's blocking the whole track. And uh, then I start seeing like, okay, he's hitting there. They're hitting their brakes. And then, uh, you know, the C parts. And we uh, find our opening. Although the 9 tried to kill us, maybe. Not holding his brakes. But uh, we made it. We made it. And we go from 17th, it looks like. To what I believe was 11th. That's one, two, three, four, five, six people. Yep, that sounds accurate. Well, we had this one guy that was damaged that we didn't fight, uh, pass right away. But so we did before too long because they got that damage from colliding with the 13. So I'm thankful that I got my 0x. 0x top 10, everything I hope to achieve in this race I got. So, my goals are not over the moon, but, you know, I'm satisfied. Anyway, enough about that accident. Let's see what else happened. Desaturated Jeff Gordon. It's the, uh, entry. Rare mistake of Lewandowski. Ooh, and that's some apron. It's from the Great Plains. That's where my region is. We did a race with this guy not too long ago. I remember talking about his Bobby Hamilton scheme. One that he's scratching up at the moment. He's the 18 that had a fantastic race. That's a while there, but he's alright. That was just him losing the lead there at that moment. Is this what happened to you, Scooby-Doo? Or just a little bit of wall? Just a little bit of wall for now. Huh. A little bit more wall. Oh, whoa, that's scary. So I think we're past him at this point. He's, uh, as I was saying, it looked like he went hard from the beginning and his tires have fallen off a cliff. Remember I said that uh, he was going to be having a rough time keeping all his spots? Well, this is the rough time that I was speaking of. So far he just uh, tapped the wall a couple times. I haven't seen him actually crash. Pretty hitting the wall. He's uh, having a great race though. Top five. And, uh, this is the, whoa. I think this is the last lap. I think this white flag, I don't even think the race is over yet, is it? Oh. Kind of wiggling around like he thinks it's over, but... Maybe his tire's just completely off or something. It's, like, real messed up. Is he gonna hold on to the spot? 
Well, he's being weird about it, but he does. Because that's the end of the race. Eleven's mad. That's how you get protested. What did he do to deserve it? Now we gotta know. What has summoned the anger? We're fighting for a while. I'm imagining the six probably dove it in or tapped him out of the way and that causes uh, some upsetty spaghetti. Man, it must have happened a really long time ago because I'm not seeing anything. Maybe he's blocking and we missed it because it was hard to see in the rewind. I'm not seeing anything though. This guy's all the way back here. Is he ever at any point closer? No, I mean, I guess the only thing it could have been was... Oh, maybe uh, earlier in the race? Does he hold on to a grudge for that long? I don't know. I've got, like, sunken cost fallacy going on right here where, like, I've spent too much time on this. And I'm like, well, now I've spent this much time, I have to find out. And instead, everyone's like, we don't care. But, uh, everything I've seen looks pretty clean to me. Uh, I do want to find out, however, what happened to the 20. I was kind of rooting for him. He had a great uh, track position. Uh, where was he? We'll just go ahead and... I am guessing he alt f 4 is after about... He's about to wreck or something. It's the wall and starts sliding. Ooh, and then we saw this. This was the last full lap he did? You know what might have happened is after all these wall hits, he's, uh... Rakal has too much damage, we have to fix it. And then uh, he's just like, nah, we're just quitting. That's too bad though, he still could have gotten, like, 10 spots. Well, not 10, but almost 10. Because he's in 16th right there, I mean, I don't know, maybe not. But uh, we got, you have a fast repair, come in and fix it, and still be ahead of the guys that were in the major wreck. I don't know, but uh, thankfully we weren't in the major wreck, we were in 10th at the end of this one. And with a 0x, and uh, I actually saved my tires somewhat this time. I'll take that, I'll take what I can get here. Uh, number 8, so technically should have done a little bit better. But not going to be uh, too upset about it because I avoided the carnage and had a solid finish. So I hope it was entertaining. Kind of ran by myself a lot. But uh, I had plenty to talk about in terms of the strategy, the race pace that I was uh, trying to achieve, all that. So, All right, I'll see you next time. Uh, hopefully we'll have some more fun races this week. See ya.